Hi everyone. I want to take a minute just to talk about rolling element bearings. Compared with journal bearings, rolling element bearings replace the sliding lubricated friction style um, of interface between the journal and the bearing with um, rolling elements. So these rolling elements can be either balls or rollers or, or pins. Uh, and the idea is that um, because you have these, these moving mechanical parts, you can um, carry higher loads because you actually have a, a contact occurring. Um, they have lower starting friction than journal bearings. Uh, bec again, because of these, these moving um, parts rather than a friction uh, interface. And therefore, they're, they're suitable for applications with, which have those high loads, high, high starting loads, um, lower speeds, uh, things like that. They're ill-suited for high-speed applications uh, because the, the thing that these um, moving components introduce is fatigue, right? Lots of cycles, uh, high speeds lead, lead to lots of cycles very quickly, and the stresses then can cause fatigue failure uh, more rapidly when you have all these moving parts compared to a journal bearing. Um, rolling element bearings have been around forever. Uh, you know, the, the book talks about how the, the modern version of these were developed by da Vinci in around the year uh, 1500. However, there's, there's evidence of them um, existing as far back as 650 BC. Uh, however, they weren't particularly useful until more recently. Uh, because of the high contact stresses, they require materials that are fairly hard. And uh, steel hardening technology is, is a little bit more recent, the ability to do that. Uh, and that has allowed uh, for rolling element bearings to be more successful. Within rolling element bearings, we have, a, uh, as I already mentioned, a couple of different versions. Um, sticking to you know very high level we'll just say ball bearings versus roller bearings and as you can imagine ball bearings have a smaller contact area they have you know theoretically a point contact so one a ball resting on a surface makes contact at a point now of course deformation means it's not perfectly a point it's more of a circle um, rolling bearings where it's more of a of a roller make a line contact, you know, much more of like a rectangular shape when, when you can account for deformation. And therefore they each have different uses. Rollers can carry higher loads because the contact area is larger. Balls, uh, ball bearings can go at higher speeds uh, because they have a smaller contact area, but then of course can't carry as high of loads. Uh, in this portion of, of the course, we will talk about how you look at the life cycle uh, of a rolling element bearing and how you would go ahead then and select a bearing for a particular application.